Hi, my name's Andrew Youngblood. I'm from Jackson, Missouri. My name is Joel Ian Moss. I'm from Lake Ozark, Missouri. I'm Stephen Rader. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Andrew McAllister. I am 18 years old and I'm from uh, Bowen, St. Louis. I'm Caitlin Sambos. I'm from Sullivan, Missouri. I'm Vera Vivanek, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I am Christiana, and I am from Chesterfield, Missouri. I'm Elizabeth Lindsay, and I'm from Grandview. My name is John Inglemeyer. I'm from Elden. My name is Andrew Schleicher. I came from St. I came from St. Louis City. I came here because I'm going into St. Louis University and a lot of the extracurricular activities there involve or want you to use leadership skills. I just wanted to come here and see and just find out how great this program is and get to know the kids here and get to see what a college is like and like just how to help show leadership more. I came here to learn more about who I am and how everybody else is that is like me. I came to this program is to help and understand more kids with disabilities. One of my teachers told me about this a few years ago and first time I didn't think it was for me but now that I came I have learned more stuff about me and how to better myself. It's a great opportunity and probably one of the only opportunities for youth with disabilities to um, have the opportunity to strengthen their leadership skills, to learn about um, their disability and about other disabilities, um, to learn about disability history and the culture, and to really start to get a sense of pride um, about who they are. I took from the program you're not too long to have a voice in government. There's all sorts of government you never to disable to take a part in. I wish I could do more and hopefully I'll get a lot more chances. I always participate in the Special Olympics at my high school, but I think I can take it a little more to heart now and I, that's what I hope to walk away with. The forum helped me out with the with the helping need and if you reach that goal in life you will get you will you make you will make the difference what we want the students to gain is number one confidence um, number two the um, to understand the opportunities that they have available for them and to go back to their communities, feel confident and to spread the word um, using the talents that they have. This is my second year. First year was uh, delegate, second year staff. Um, I hope that for the kids that they get out of this, that, like with their disabilities and learn more of what it is and like how they can overcome fears of things. After actually participating and being part of it and seeing how wonderful the program is and, and how much the youth benefit from it and, and watching them be able to gain these leadership skills from the, from the first day until the last day just really incredible and I'm very proud to be part of it. I was a delegate last year. What I got out of it is just uh, keep uh, moving forward. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anybody's opinion stop, stop you from doing what you want to do in your life. And what I hope to pass on is pretty much the same thing. Just, uh, just tell the uh, other uh, students just to keep focused on what they want to do and just uh, never give up. I really hope they gain leadership skills and they build on that 
um, and take it back to the community and be their own advocate in the school, the community, the church, whatever they are involved in. That they are a unique person and they can advocate for themselves. I did this for three years. I believe this is my fourth year. And I just really enjoy helping out with my life and helping all the delegates realize just because you have a disability doesn't mean you're any different than anybody else. I hope that they gain self-confidence, self-esteem, pride in who they are as a person with a disability and the skills to go out and be the wonderful leaders that I know that they can be. You know, I think the neatest thing for me, um, just watching the students, you know, come on Sunday and they're all scared and they're all shy and they're all very uncomfortable um, with each other, uncomfortable sometimes with different disabilities. And so um, to see them build relationships, to see them start to um, engage and learn from each other, um, to do, start to have an appreciation for their common commonalities and not their differences and to learn to be very accepting and not only accepting but to be supporters of each other that's the that's the very best part when they come they're gonna know who they are they're gonna understand their strengths and they're gonna understand their options as far as um, transitions into the college world or into the work world and um, be able to help others that are in their same shoes. They come from different parts of the state and they gain friendship, but I think more than anything else they gain is a sense of who I am and it's okay that I am a person with a disability and I can be proud of who I am. Being able to be with people and making more friends, um, my struggles here that I didn't know how to socialize with with people so I came here and to, I made a lot more friends. What I've learned a lot from here is um, how to get along with the roommate and all these others who would, who basically live with you and it feels like one big family almost. I got to learn a lot about not only my own disability but all those others with disabilities and I really think I now feel more like I'm a part of a community now than I was before. I got out of this that there are tons of people just like me. I've never really been around other people with disabilities before like, like I am now. And I knew even bef before I came here that there was more to a person than a disability, but this experience taught me the depth to which that was really true. There's, you know, there's this one person here who has, you know, a disability has trouble speaking but if, especially last night he was a really really fun person he was really enjoying himself and you know if you were to judge him because of how he talks or how he walks you wouldn't really get to see that you would miss that and I think the fun part and the part that he's fun and he's a really enjoyable friendly person is more important than just his disability and that's what I've gotten out of this I met some really great people and this it was an awesome experience peace baby